everyone and welcome to this presentation. Uh, my name is Obalim and I want to quickly put you through how to create projects on Primavera P6. Um, so I've decided to break this down and for the purpose of this particular video, we're going to be using a very simple project. Of course, I usually believe that you start from the simple stuff. So you count one before you count two. I mean, you start crawling before you start working and then before you start running. So but if you get the basics, if you understand the foundation for how to be able to create a project schedule, so even as it gets bigger, all you just need to do is you constantly apply the same principle and then with it, you'll be able to effectively be able to create your project schedule using Primavera pieces. So we're going to be going through certain processes. So I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step approach for how to be able to create your schedule. So I'm gonna be making a short video describing each of these steps one after the other. So you can, you know, watch it at your leisure without having to spend a lot of time on screen and then practice it. And then you can take a look at the next step. So I welcome you to my class. So if you take a look at the project that we are building, it's a community health project. So we have the project title, which is Community Health Center. And then within this project, you can see we have the table. So this is the activity table. So here you have the activities, uh, you have the activity IDs. Then you also have the work breakdown structure elements. That's the phase one, phase two, and phase three. Then we have the activity durations, which is this ones you're seeing here in days. We also have the predecessors, which basically shows the dependencies. Then we have the resources, and then we also have the cost. So if you come down below, you're going to see the names of the resources. Uh, these are the resources that we assigned to these activities within the project. Then aside from that, you're also going to see the instructions. So we're just basically going to take these instructions one after the other. And these are the steps that we're going to be following to create our project here using the Primavera P6. And we're going to start with the very first instruction. So the first instruction talks about create the OBS. And there are two OBSs here. One is construction, and then the second one is project manager. OBS simply refers to responsible managers. So these are folks or individuals who will be responsible for managing key aspects of the project or the project itself. Aside from that, OBS can be a function or a department within an organization. So for example, you can have maybe a project department as an OBS, you can have construction department as an OBS, you can have the project management office as an OBS. So usually the first level is like the department and then below that level, you can now have a particular role, which is what you have here. So we have construction as a department. That's the first level of the OBS. That's the organization breakdown structure. And then you now have the project manager here as the second level. And that's exactly what we're going to be creating right away. So please note that the link to download this particular document is in the um, detail. Uh, so you can expand the detailed portion of this video and then you see the link to download this very attachment so you can also work with it as we journey along. So I'm going to check into my Primavera P6 right away and then we'll begin. So when you log into your P6, usually it brings you to this page. I've made a couple of videos in the past where I actually explained what each of these sections actually signify. So if you're very new to Primavera, I would recommend that you watch my previous video. I'll put the link in the description below and then also in the comment box so you can assess some of those previous videos and then you can also use it to be able to learn some of these details. So I'm not going to go into all of that. So I want to believe that coming into this, you already understand the interface. So but typically when you log into your Primavera P6, this is the page that you are normally faced with. So the page we're seeing here is the projects page. So that's exactly where we are. To know the page you are, you will see it conspicuously written at the top. So this is clearly showing that currently we are taking a look or we're looking at the projects page. So to create the OBS, we do that from the enterprise menu. So if you take a look at one of the menus we have here, uh, you're going to see the enterprise menu. So the enterprise menu is typically where you go to create the OBS. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So I click on the enterprise menu, then it drops down and then you would see OBS here. So I click on OBS. So once I click on OBS, notice the OBS window pops up. So this is the organizational breakdown structure. 
So to add your OBS, all you simply need to do is you click on the add button here by the right hand side of the organizational breakdown structure window. So I simply click on it and whatever pops up, you just click on OK. So once you do that, it's going to create a portion titled new OBS. So you type in your new OBS, which in this case is construction based on what we have within the brief. And then we're also told that the next OBS is the project manager. So once you've typed in construction, just hit enter in your keyboard and then also click on the add button again. And so this second one is the project manager. So you just type in project manager. Because the project manager is under the construction department, so I would like to shift it right one step. So you'll see the shift right button here, or these four directional arrows. Just click on the one that is pointing right, and then it shifts it right. So in this case, you have the project manager, who of course reports to the construction department all within our enterprise. And then once you're done with that, you simply click on close. So, I mean, it's that straightforward. So that's basically how you create the OBS. I hope this particular video has been quite informative for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can also sign up as one of the members to be able to also get detailed as well as insider information about how to be able to create your project schedule. Or you can check the description below to be able to access my detailed course on use of Primavera P6. So I'll see you in the next step. Thank you very much.